Thank you very much, Nicola. As introduced, uh, my name is Wilbert Muruke. I'll be introducing on, on uh, uh, climate services for, for infrastructure. Please, if my internet is not is not stable, please uh, let me know. But uh, I'll go on and. Uh, climate systems and uh, as TMA, we save this sector is is one of our of our of our major customers. So the outline, as you see, that we have introduction, we have selected cases of weather and climate impacts infrastructure in terms of services provided by TMA for specifically for infrastructure. I'll, I'll highlight on challenges and the strategic initiatives and then enabling environment and then conclusion. Next, please. Yeah, as we start in uh, with all other sectors, we have infrastructure in energy, transport, agriculture, and so far. So this is a crucial sector, which is a cross-cutting climate, climate and weather information is a, of paramount impo importance to be considered in all levels of national investments or projects. Uh, however, infrastructure sector is one of the climate sensitive sectors vulnerable to weather and climate variability and climate change. Also the vulnerability of the infrastructure is partly attributed to severe weather and uh, or weather system among other factors and markets of um, extreme weather and uh, climate events, including flooding, which have contributed skillfully in the destruction of infrastructure in, in the country. And uh, the damage of these infrastructures uh, as we know that it causes a life, loss of life, property in any country there is uh, not a weather and the climate services for infrastructure planning and management is critical and it's for its, for its sustainability for the disaster risk reduction. Next, please. Next, and uh, I've just we've tried to highlight some cases of uh, uh, of weather and uh, and uh, uh, climate impacts in the infrastructure. On the in the charts that uh, there are some extreme events that some sometimes have uh, caused uh, disruption in the infrastructure. Uh, sector, and uh, for example, uh, on 24th of October 2019, we can see that the station is our station Handeni. It was recorded 123.7 millimeters of rainfall, being the highest in 24 hours started to the uh, damage of around 15 bridges and about 40 houses collapsed and the other 70 houses drowned. Just to mention, to, 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 to highlight on, the, on these uh, uh, extreme cases that has caused destruct, destruction in, this, in, in the infrastructure. In, in, the, in, the, in the country. Next, please. Some extreme cases of of, uh, of of weather that has caused destruction of infrastructure in the in the country. Next slide, please. Yeah, on on. 
climate services provide by, by information and product for infrastructure, provide also daily forecast. We have five days impact based forecast. So uh, I was highlighting all the climate services provided by TMA for infrastructure services, for, for infrastructure development, uh, including climatological information and products for infrastructure planning. Can you hear me? Yeah, no problem. Yeah, we have also daily forecast, five days impact uh, based forecast. Next, please. Uh, also on the climate for, uh, climate services provided by TMA for infrastructure development, we have uh, this seasonal forecast, which also was highlighted by my colleague yesterday. And uh, during this national uh, climate outlook forum, and during the development of the climate outlook, uh, we involve the, these sectors, including the infrastructure, and you can see the advisories to the infrastructure sector highlighted in this slide. And also we have tailor-made products, which include rainfall intensive, intense, intensity frequency curve, which is very important for the design and the planning of infrastructure, including bridge and roads, road construction. We, this uh, indicates the return periods. So it's a very good product for design and plan for this infrastructure in the country. Next, please. Um, we, we have challenges, some challenges that to also my colleague highlighted, including inadequate uh, data representation uh, due to the um, large area of our countries so that we need to increase uh, observation infrastructure to cover uh, most of our, our, our country so that we can have more data to save all the sectors, including the infrastructure. Also, we have limited awareness and capacity among users or decision makers on the role, application and contribution of climate information on the sustainability of infrastructure. So we need to, we have this challenge that we have to have more people using our, our services in the inf infrastructure industry. Next, please. And uh, some strategic initiatives that are, are in place and in the environment, this include development of the climate change strategy. Dr. Maruki, I, excuse me, you have one minute left. Okay, thank you. I'm about to finish. Thank you. Uh, this strategy has been uh, reviewed. We have 2021 strategy. Uh, we have enactment of TMA Act, Act number two, 2019, which indicates that integration of meteorological information in designing and planning of uh, structures is mandatory. Uh, so with the TMA Act, it's a, it's a mandatory to use climate services in the planning of infrastructure uh, project. Uh, among the other strategies can be seen on the slide. Next, please. In conclusion, we say that infrastructure is one of the climate sensitive sectors vulnerable to climate variability and change. So enhancing climate services for infrastructure, for infrastructure is among the Policy level priorities in, in for for us. A good progress has been made by the government in enhancing climate services to ensure sustainability of infrastructure in the country, and the existing capacity gaps needs to be further and addressed for enhanced climate services to the infrastructure sector. And uh, lastly, we say that TMA has the enabling environment in place, and will appreciate to collaborate with any partners or partners interested in climate services for infrastructure development in the country. And we, we thank you for this initiative that will further uh, make use of the climate services for the infrastructure development. Thank you very much.